Playing video games in the dark just makes you feel so much more immersed. The only world you see and hear is the game world, and the graphics and colors just looks that much better. Aside from being more immersed, you also don't need to worry about the annoying screen glare from the sunlight that makes dark scenes in the game so difficult to see when you game during the day. I have to admit, 99% of the time, I game in the dark like this. The other 1% when I game with the lights on is for horror games like Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2 Remake, because those games make me too jumpy in the dark. But have the thought ever crossed your mind that is this safe for your eyes? I'm pretty sure that most of us have had our parents yell at us at least once, like don't sit too close to the TV or open more lights, something like that. I mean, is what our parents said what's really damaging our eyes? Fortunately, there are quite a lot of research done on this topic out on the internet. So hit that subscribe button and let's find out if gaming in the dark is safe for your eyes. Back in the days, generations of humans actually used to do everything by candlelight or kerosene lamps at night. I mean, we read books, sew clothes, eat and bathe in a not so bright environment. I mean, come on, staring into a light that is too bright will also damage your eyes. So if it's not about the amount of light that hurts our eyes, what does? The short answer, eye strain and eye fatigue. If you ever try reading a book in dim light, you'll notice that your eyes get tired faster than when reading in a properly lit room. This is because the muscles in our eyes need to work harder to dilate to let in more light and at the same time focus to let you see clearly. And gaming in a low light environment is not too different. Your eyes have to work harder so they tend to get tired faster. So here's a few things you can do to help those two balls of yours. Number one, doctors recommend that every 20 minutes Give your eyes a short 20 second rest and look and focus at something 20 feet away. And every two hours, take a quick 10 to 15 minutes break and not look at any screen. That means not looking at your smartphone too. By doing so, you will be giving your eye muscles a chance to take a break because if you let your eyes get too fatigued, you'll eventually end up doing damage to, your, to them. And that's not from low light, but from overworking them. Not sure what I mean? Try flexing your biceps for the duration you game and you'll understand. <laughs> Number two, position your screen slightly further away from you. Ideally, you'll want the screen to be at least 25 inches away from your eyes and at eye level. Staring at a screen or object that is closer requires more energy for your eyes to focus more than when the screen or object is further away. This will eventually lead to tired or watery eyes faster. And positioning the screen at eye level is so that you can prevent your neck muscles from getting fatigued and strained, which is what something I mentioned in another video. Number three, adjust the brightness and contrast of your screen to find a setting that is most comfortable for you in the dark. A screen that is too bright will strain your eyes more and faster in a dark environment. As light is a form of energy, having too much of that energy, our eyeballs need to work harder to protect itself from becoming damaged. And since video games tend to have many bright and dark scenes and visual effects, and to accommodate such frequent changes at high brightnesses, it will need your eyes to work that much more harder to balance out the light that gets into your eyes. If finding that ideal setting is difficult, what you can do is add a secondary light source which you can control the brightness somewhere near your screen so that your eyes do not need to work too hard to adjust between dark and bright lights as there will be an ambient light nearby to keep your eyes focused without having to adjust too much between the changes in brightness. Number four, it is something interesting that I came across during my research, and that's screen refresh rate and higher display resolution. Higher resolution will produce sharper images requiring our eyes to focus less. But that shouldn't be much of a problem as most PC monitors nowadays are at least 180p. Unless you're using a large screen and at a short distance, then you should consider a 2K or 4K screen to avoid blurry images. As for refresh rates, apparently, any screen that is less than 75Hz has imperceptible flickers that causes strain because each time the screen refreshes, your eyes need to refocus. So investing in a screen with higher refresh rates like 120 or 144Hz, 
The refresh rate will be so fast your eyes won't notice the flicker. Number five, in relation to number four, choose a screen that is at least larger than 19 inches. If you're gaming on a laptop for long periods in the dark, consider hooking up to an external monitor or a screen. A larger screen compared to a smaller screen will display larger pictures which will make it easier for your eyes to focus on things on the screen. Number six, the last thing is simply blink more often. Staring at a screen, believe it or not, causes many us of us to blink less. Although it is difficult to consciously remind yourself to blink more, but when you follow the 20-20-20 rule and take a break, you will be giving your eyes a chance to blink and restore their, restore their moisture. Or another way is you can simply use eye drops to keep them moist but not the ones that use for redness relief. So in conclusion, it is safe to say that gaming in the dark is safe for your eyes if you do it properly. The most important point is to give your eyes enough breaks. Letting your eyes rest and recover is what will keep them strong and healthy to continue enjoy video games. And as a bonus, just in case you're wondering, playing video games does not cause myopia or nearsightedness and make you end up wearing glasses like me. It is more a her hereditary thing and not a result of playing video games. All right, that's it for this week. Hit that like if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll see you again next week.